I would say, you know, it's a understanding question for you. Uh, here, uh, my concern is that you understand that when you engage virtual resources. So when I say virtual resource, it means you cannot do a face-to-face -face meeting regularly with them. They are not sitting in your office. Uh, they are either, you know, uh, dispersed geographically and then you need to, you know, engage them in a project. So if you are managing your uh, virtual teams, which of the following is not your concern, I should say. So first thing is when you are managing the, uh, the virtual team, the critical factor that you need to focus on how you use the communication technology because, you know, if you want to communicate with them, which type of technology you are using, which mode you are using. So this is very important and you have to be very, very careful when you are managing the virtual team if, and from the perspective of communication. The second is, you know, uh, when you are doing project and your team is dispersed among multiple geographical area and they have different cultural backgrounds and belief system to resolve a conflict is a very big thing you know sometimes you think that it's a joke and somebody thinks that it's it's, it's a personal hit on their personality and sometimes you are unable to resolve it and especially when you are not sitting at a one place you are not co-located so it's very difficult to convince others so it's better to define a protocol and a communication technology and a communication guidelines or a team charter so that you know those who are not you know sitting together those who are not, not co-located they should you know work on a project and they should know how to resolve conflict for the uh, for the purpose of the uh, project then the third option is uh, another important option is you know how you are adjusting the calendar and time zone because you know in my in one of my project uh, I was sitting in Pakistan half of my team members from Malaysia and half of our team members from UK so Malaysia basically is three hours ahead of us and UK is four hours behind us and then we are in middle of half so we need to set that, you know, that everybody is available, everybody, and if we have to set a meeting where, you know, all three, Pakistan, Malaysia, and UK are, you know, co communicating and they have a joint meeting, it's very difficult to engage all of them. And especially when you are doing a project, you know, in Pakistan, we have Eid, somebody has, you know, Chinese New Year, someone has uh, other holidays, and then, you know, you have to set you know the time and the time zone and the holidays and you carefully plan that your project don't get laid just because of these things but when you talk about the option number d you know you will not focus about their uh, specific skills and expertise because you engage these resources specifically for the reason that they are expert and they can deliver things so basically you don't need to manage their skills and expertise in a project so this is not the right thing to do and that is the answer of this question those who have answered it correctly through understanding congratulations for others i hope it helped